包子。And this morning, about two hours ago, I made the dough. About 500 gram of the bread flour and 330 uh, milliliter of the warm water and five gram of the dry fast acting yeast. Um, and you need knead the dough about 10 minutes and uh, set in a, put in a warm place. About two hours later, the size uh, double, almost doubled. So I'm going to uh, knock the air out and let it um, re rise before I make the wipe, you know, the meat bun wipe. And um, let me knock the air first and then I will make the meat bun filling. The second time the rice may only need about the 30 minutes compared with the first time rice may need about two hours. At the same time I will prepare the filling. Right. Now I'm going to make the meatball filling. Uh, today I use the uh, turkey uh, thigh, you know, about 7% fat. Actually you can use use any kind of meat, chicken, turkey, beef, pork, or even lamb. I used lamb last time with um, uh, this vegetable. Um, and um, it's not a rocket science. Uh, you know, if you like uh, more meat, you can add more meat. If you like more vegetables, you can add more vegetable, actually. Um, you can also whatever vegetables you like, Chinese cabbage, um, uh, any kind of green leafy vegetables or even root, um, uh, roots, roots vegetables, you can use it uh, for the meat bun or, or dumpling filling. Today, actually yesterday, I harvested um, dill. Actually, fennel has a very big bulky root. Um, but this one is, is just roots, it's very, you know, normal, thin. And, and they, when they are, you know, um, seedling, start to seedling the seeds, we call it kumi, kumi seeds, but we eat this, um, you know, the plant, the leaves. I may not um, chop all of them. I will save a little bit for next dish. I will also chop uh, three or four spring onions together with um, these vegetables. But now I'm going to mix the meat first. This is uh, 500 gram of uh, ground uh, turkey thigh. I add one egg, about a half teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Yeah, half teaspoon of Chinese five one teaspoon of the salt. This is the Chinese rice wine, cooking rice wine. You put uh, uh, one tablespoon or one and a half tablespoon is fine. Light soy sauce, reduce the, the, the so, uh, sodium. Two tablespoons, one teaspoon of this uh, chicken powder. One tablespoon of this oyster sauce. And uh, sesame oil, three tablespoons sesame oil. And then you mix very well, you know, to one direction, one direction only, not uh, all directions. At the beginning, you feel it's loose, and then the more you mix it, or it's deep, more hard and difficult to mix it because it becomes uh, dense. I think it's enough now. Let it set. I'm going to cut, chop my vegetables now. Um, a bit uh, spring onion. 
uh, if you notice I'm using this big Chinese knife actually someone may be scared of it but I feel like uh, this is much easier or faster well don't stick out your finger or nails use your knuckles against this knife maybe uh, together about the 300 gram find a problem Right before I uh, make the meat bun, I've mixed these vegetables and the meat together. Second rice already finished. I'm going to make the wipe. I cut um, this dough in half, so this is the half of the dough. Well, depends if you want a, a small meat bun or big meat bun, you know, this wipe, you can make it smaller or big, depends on what, what, what kind of uh, big one or a small one you like. One is about maybe 10 to 15 gram, if you weigh it. Okay, a bit the dusting flour. Or you try your best to cut it evenly. Okay. You add a bit more dusting flour. You press it flat like this. And one hand, uh, yeah, I use my left hand to hold it. My right hand hold the rolling pin. And you press it. You press it at the same time you turn use your left hand to turn this uh, wipe yeah you keep uh, a little bit uh, thicker in the middle and the uh, edge a bit thinner put in the filling about the start from the edge you move forward, move forward, move, 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 move. The end, you tie up, tie up the end. Move, move, move. Okay. This one, I made it uh, about 15 minutes ago. I need 10 more minutes before I cook it. I want to steam half of it and pan fry half of it. So I'm, I will use this big wok to steam it. This is my bamboo steamer. I put about um, 800 milliliter of water and uh, with this and this is a non-stick parchment paper but probably you can find it from oriental store for the steamer paper okay i will select the big one to steam don't uh, put it um, you know exactly against the edge leave a bit room for it to grow cover this is the lid cover it Turn on the fire about medium high, you know, you need with strong fire. Once you see the steam come out, you count it for 12 minutes, depends on how big your bun, 10 to 12 minutes, whether you, once you see the steam come out. For this one, the remaining, I will pan fry it. Put a bit of oil in the non-stick frying pan and um, add this uh, bun together. You don't need to leave uh, like uh, more room in the steamer. 
you can put them together, cover for about three minutes. The fire, medium low. The simmer one, look, that one is strong fire. After three minutes, you add about uh, 50 milliliter cold water. Cover wheat also about five minutes after the water complete finish and the bottom will be golden brown. Both steamed and fried are good already now. Look. Once you open the lid, if this um, dough not shrink back, means it's successful. If they are stick together, it's difficult to take out. Oops! 